We get a lot of questions about how our patented digital chain of custody works, so we put together this short video to help explain. When a sample is collected, we verify the sampler's identity using three-part authentication. The first way we authenticate the user is through the user's unique username and password. The second part of the authentication is upon sample collection, we require the user to sign their name on the screen using a stylus or their fingertip. The third part of the authentication is we also require the user to take a selfie with each sample collected. In addition to recording those three authentication factors, we also collect the GPS coordinates for the location of the sample, and we also collect the date and timestamp. Our patents also include the ability to incorporate other biometric factors such as fingerprints, retina scans, facial recognition, or other types of personal identification. In order to do a custody transfer with another party, we use the same process. The sample collector would identify the sample or samples they are relinquishing custody for. They then go through the three-part authentication process and indicate that they are relinquishing custody. The new person that is taking custody will either scan the sample using a barcode or QR code reader, or they will receive a notification of the custody transfer being initiated by the other user along with the sample IDs. They then go through their own three-part authentication process and accept custody of the samples. The platform then recognizes, in real time, that the new person is in possession of the sample or samples that have been transferred. Again, the time and GPS location is recorded for both parts of the custody transfer. SampleServe uses its patented digital chain of custody with three-part authentication to document the sample collector and chain of custody through the sample delivery to the laboratory. At sample collection, in every exchange of custody, both GPS and timestamp are collected automatically. The sample served digital chain of custody is significantly better than any paper chain of custody. There are actually two parts to any chain of custody. The first part is the laboratory instructions, which is basically a list and details of the samples collected and the analytical parameters you are requesting that the laboratory run. The second part of the chain of custody are the details of who had the samples and when. SampleServe's digital COC is submitted both as a PDF and as a CSV file. The PDF allows the human being to read it simply and efficiently, whereas the CSV file is directly uploadable by the laboratory's LIM system. As mentioned earlier, this CSV file can also be pushed directly to a LIM system by a participating laboratory. The SampleServe chain of custody format is simple to read and includes the specifics of every custody transfer. The digital chain of custody can be converted to a paper chain of custody at any point if needed without losing any custody details. If you have any questions regarding the SampleServe patented digital chain of custody, please contact us at the phone number and email presented here. Otherwise, if you'd like to sign up, simply click the sign up button on the home page and you'll be on your way. Thank you.